film in front of this window and this is golden hour much when you're done your style you show out it's not really much to editing it all right so now we are officially behind the scenes of curls with kia so i have my drafts these are a couple drafts i have some things y'all never seen and now i am going to the reel that y'all saw me film or at least the footage and i literally just go ahead and crop this down now i do have a rule that i try to stick to and that is three um second clips so mine are very fast and let me just go ahead and show y'all how i do this now i am not done but I am going to go ahead and turn the camera audio down and then I have an audio that I want in mind. I want to do um, Big Energy by Lotto, instrumental, but you can see how Instagram is recommending these songs to me. But what I do is I go to see more and then you can see how many reels have been created. Now, I've noticed that if more reels have been created, that's kind of how I figure out some of the trending songs because I don't have like that little arrow that tells you. So for example, Right here you see straightening, even though that's number one, I'm assuming that it's an up and coming song because it was recommended to me by Instagram, but I don't want to use that yet because I don't feel like a lot of reels have been made with that. I already made a reel with Redbone. You can see this has like 24K um, and you can see Big Energy has 118K. So that's a trending song right now, or at least a lot of people have used it. I know also the song Hours is really popular and it's been trending for a long time. I don't know where it is on this list. It's probably down a little bit, but you kind of get the idea of what I mean by that. Like for example, Slide, I'm not going to go through all these songs, but Try to get something that's trending if you want your reel to possibly do well. <laughs> so again, big energy. Now you can, oh, okay. Now, if you look at the bottom, you can see these three dots right here. I recommend starting where these dots are. Most of the time it's not common that the red dot will be at the very beginning of that song. But in this case, it is. So, and I also think if you move it, you see how the box is no longer um, the color of Instagram anymore. But when you hit it right here on one of the red dots, you see how it becomes you know, an Instagram color or at least colorful box. That means that this is a section that Instagram wants you to use, or at least this is one of the trending sections. So for example, I went and put it right here. I would try to keep it where one of the box boxes are color. The next step that I go ahead and do now that I have my song, Again, I'm not done editing. If you're nervous and you're scary like me, you can go ahead and start to save your video multiple times just in case Instagram glitches because that's a thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and save and make sure I don't lose my footage. 
And then I am going to go in and continue editing. But this time I am going to listen to the music and try to sync um, portions of my song up with the music. Now, this is an editing hack that I personally do because it just, it looks better. And a lot of people are always like, oh, Kia, how do you edit? Da, da, da. The, my trick is just to sync the music up. And actually, Instagram has a new sync feature, which kind of like TikTok, it'll automatically sync the footage for you. So I haven't tried that yet, but I will be trying that because that will take a lot of work out. So I'm going to go ahead and keep um, editing my reel and then I will show y'all the final one. Now we're going to go ahead and save our work again because we worked so hard on this. Okay, so this is what we have as the final reel. And now I am going to go ahead and for my cover, actually, no, I'm gonna go ahead, edit, and I'm gonna add some text. So I'm going to say, get this look. Um, yeah, get this look. And then I am going to open it up. You see right here on the side, these yellow bars. You don't want your text to go past that. I also recommend you not bringing your text up here because Instagram, when they publish it, they have like your name and the audio up here. You don't want it too low because you can see right here where that information is going to be too. So about maybe right here is good. And then I am going to shorten it to right here, get this look. So there we go. And now get this look. All right. Now another thing that I've been doing is I've been saying follow Kia for more content. The way I do that is I go to edit clips, add clip. Now I have this in my lap. So I'm just gonna tap the reel for the reel icon for like a couple seconds. So ready, set, one, two. All right, now for that, I'm going to go ahead and then type my follow curls with Kia for more natural hair content. Um, curls with Kia for, sorry y'all, I'm slow, for more natural hair content. And then I'm going to put a star because I like emojis. And then follow Curls with Kia for more. And then I am going to put that like towards the bottom because if you notice, Instagram has its own text like right here in the middle. So I'm going to put this here and then put it all the way at the end where actually, hmm, it might look cute right here underneath me. So. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then you can go ahead and take the white bar off and see how that looks. I'm going to keep the white bar. I like the white bar. There we go. So now we are done. Oh God, we are done. So I'm going to go ahead and write my caption and then yeah, I'm going to be done. Ah! Now for the cover, I try to go ahead and capture 
these first words and if I don't put it here in the front I normally put it in the back but okay so we have that do I want to be looking at y'all nah here we go and then crop profile image it's not showing up this is a glitch that Instagram has if this happens you can just exit the app and come back but let's see if it there it goes yay all right get this look so this is how it will show up in my feed and then done now this is not a tutorial on how to use these features but you know tag products tag people you can tag people um i'm in north carolina y'all so i always try to add a location right here and i also let them share my reels to facebook because that's another you know secret that facebook reels i feel like i've heard that they are doing its thing and if this is a paid partnership label i recommend posting this before you add that tag because i think once you put paid partnership the algorithm just interacts with the reel differently so just push your reel out and then go back and then change paid partnership if you if you want to put that and also um i've been hearing not to put share your reel to the feed but why would you do that i i want my reel to be on my feed um because when people come to your feed people don't always organically hit your tab your real tab so editing an iMovie is another easy way to edit your reels the first step that i do i go ahead and import all of my footage that i'll need from my sd card and so now it's in iMovie you can see me adding the clips in that i would like to do and now i am just going ahead and cutting down each sex section excuse me and what i'm doing right now is going through each clip and cutting down the section remember the tip that i told you earlier i try not to keep each frame longer than three seconds now it's even down to two seconds depending on how fast i would like the reel to go it costs that much because it takes me hour hour it costs that much because i don't have that is my hours. tutorial on how i create reels if you enjoyed this please leave me a comment below and give this video a thumbs up so we can go ahead and help some other people on how to create some reels and if you enjoy natural hair vlogs and reviews go ahead and subscribe to vibing with kia tv and join the family but until the next one bye